Hey everyone, so unlike my previous videos, which were Tesla focused, I'm now turning my focus onto my home. I've been trying to automate my house and I would love for everything to work with Siri. I love that I could control my lights with both Google Assistant and Siri. I also love my Nest thermostat. I've also received a whole bunch of free Google Home Minis from various promotions. For the most part, my home automation has been limited to using Google Assistant. When I moved into my new home, it came with a ring doorbell. This works great if you have Alexa. Because we have both Google Home Mini and Google Home Hub, and also use Siri, I couldn't really use my ring doorbell to the full potential. Now all of a sudden I found myself in a dilemma where I have devices that sit on three different home ecosystems and they don't really communicate well with each other. It was at this point where I wanted to consolidate it all to one home ecosystem, and I wanted that to be HomeKit. However, when you look at HomeKit certified devices, there aren't a lot of them. I also love the Nest products. As former Apple engineers that started the company, they definitely brought the Apple design mindset with them. I also didn't want to limit my product choices to what was certified by Apple. I wanted to buy the best products available. Now if I was just using Nest products, I'd probably opt for the Starling Home Hub. It's a reasonably priced, out of the box solution that integrates between your Nest and your Apple HomeKit. But since I have multiple brand products, I needed to find something else. That's where I stumbled onto Homebridge. It's a third party open source project that bridges all these devices and brings them into HomeKit. They bring HomeKit support to all sorts of devices, including Nest, Ring, Logitech, and even Tesla. Because they are now integrated into HomeKit, you can now control your smart devices anywhere you have HomeKit or Siri. Homebridge could run on your computer or it could run on a Raspberry Pi or devices that support Docker. As I could view the code, I could see that it's properly maintained. I know the integration that is there is only meant to communicate with the smart devices. Because I could see the code, I could actually trust this integration. Now I don't have mine running on a Raspberry Pi on a computer. Mine is actually running on my NAS, which is always on. It's essentially my server that I have all my videos on. But today I will show you how to install this on your Mac and it's fairly straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is go to homebridge.io. From there, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to choose which platform you want to install Homebridge on. For today, I'm going to show you on the Mac OS. Now, this setup requires Node.js. Node.js is an open source, cross-platform, backend JavaScript runtime framework that executes JavaScript code outside of a web browser. To install it, we're going to download it by clicking on the Mac OS installer. Once that's done, you will want to install Homebridge and the Homebridge UI. Homebridge UI is the interface that we will use to view and configure our products. So we will go ahead and install both of them with this command. sudo allows us to install this with elevated permissions. sudo actually means super user do. This is needed whenever we want to do a global install. Once we install it, we'll run the following command to start the service. You'll see that after installing the Homebridge service, it creates your Homebridge directory, creates the default config file, and starts the Homebridge service. Now Homebridge will run every time we start the computer. It even tells you how to bring up the UI via your web browser. Now if you aren't tech savvy, you might be wondering what this is. So when Homebridge runs, it creates a web server on your computer. In this case, it starts a web server with the port 8581, and localhost is referring to the current machine you are on. 
don't worry, this isn't exposed to the internet. And you will have to be on this machine to access this page or on a device that's on the same internet network as this machine. Suppose you want to use another device, like your phone. In that case, you will use the IP address that's displayed here. This IP address is assigned to you by your router. And depending on how you set it up, it can change. Lastly, you can also access this via your Mac ID, but we can ignore that for our purposes. It also gives you your default username and password, which you can change once you're logged in. So let's head over to localhost 8581 and log in with the default username and password. Once you log in, you will see all the information on your home bridge. You will notice there's a QR code in the top left. We will scan this QR code with the camera from our iOS device to add it to Apple Home. So let's bring up the Home app in iOS. Just click on the plus sign and then click Add Accessory. This will enable the camera which we will use to scan the QR code. Once it's recognized, the Home app will add it as a bridge. It is our hub to all the third party devices that we're going to add that's not HomeKit certified. So let's go ahead and click on Add to Home. Now you will see a thing that it's an uncertified accessory. This is a standard warning that Apple issues since it doesn't know what devices we're going to be adding. Let's go ahead and click Add Anyways. Next we will add the bridge location. In my case, this computer is sitting in my home office. But for the sake of the demo, I'm actually going to add a new room and call this Demo. I'm going to do this so I know which bridge I need to delete after completing this video. Now that we add the bridge, let's go ahead and add our first plugin. We can search here for any devices that we're looking for. For example, we can search for Nest or Ring. There's even a Tesla plugin. When installing a plugin, I personally would install the one that has a verified badge on it. If you want more information, you can click on this icon here. This will take you to their homepage, which is either on GitHub or NPM. Once you're here, you can view their code, and then you can read the readme, which describes the plugin and how to configure it. It even tells you what commands you can give in Siri. So let's go back to Homebridge. I'm going to click install to install this. And now once it's installed, it will pop up a modal where you could do your configuration. For now, I'm going to enter in just the required information, which will be my name, my VIN, and then I'm going to put in my username and password. If I scroll down, you will see that there's other information here uh, that I can use. For now, I'm just going to leave this blank. If you want to have Homelink service enabled, you go ahead and click Homelink service here and enter in your latitude and longitude up here. Or if you want to disable any of these services, you can go ahead and click that. And your home app will not use these services at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Now my plugin has been configured. I'll go ahead and click restart so those changes will take place. If I hop over to status, I can see what's going on. You can see the home bridge is starting and now you're seeing all the details for my car coming up, showing that my vehicle state is online. And if I hop back to the app, you will see that it shows my car as a switch. So if I go ahead and click this, I can see the connection. I can see the charge port. I can see the charger, the climate, the doors, starter, trunk. If I scroll all the way down, now it shows a little bit more detailed information. I could go ahead and click this as separate tile. So if I do that and hop back here, you will see that all these are done as separate switches. So I could go ahead and click, for instance, the charge port lock, 
button and they will actually open up my charge port. Same thing with the, uh, the doors or the trunk or the trunk. If I go back here, I could go ahead and set automations here. For example, if you have a Wi-Fi enabled garage, I could have when I arrive home, open that garage. And this will happen automatically as you arrive home. Well, that's Homebridge in a nutshell. From here, you could keep adding more plugins based on different devices that you want. And you can set automations based on your need. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I will continue to show more integrations with my Homebridge as I attempt to make my home a lot smarter. Till next time.